what did you see in front of you? Like, did you think as soon as you returned the ball, you got a chance? Yeah, like, so on the first kickoff return, I think it was like a tackle from the backside that got me. And I remember right after I was talking to Madison and Hammer, I was like, hey, the next one's going to hit. So, uh, you know, pretty much what I saw is like I got past the first level and I saw the double team in front of me and I just took it to the sideline and it was just a foot race. Shot. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That, um, that return is going to put the red flag up for other teams and they're just going to kick it over your head? I mean, like, that's like the goal, you know? You want teams to, like, respect you and, like, respect our unit because, like, for us, our mentality is just we just want to be a spark for our team, you know, making a big play, making sure that we can, you know, synergize the offense and defense together. So that's like a compliment to us. So I just asked Coach uh, Fick and you get any more latitude and maybe bring it out from deeper in the end zone after a return like that? I mean, for me, it's just I, I just listen to my coaches. So if they want to back me up, they'll back me up. But uh, pretty much I just want to play within our rules that, you know, that they give for me. What have these first few months in the NFL been like when you seem to make a good impression in training camp and have the injury and kind of have to sit on the sideline for the first few weeks? I mean, it's just always just been learning, you know, just learning how to – deal with different things that are going on, learning how to be a rookie, learning how to be a professional, learning how to deal with injuries, treating your body right, nutrition, all that type of stuff. So for me, it's just always been a learning process. So, um, you know, getting injured like that, I mean, I dealt with injuries in college, but just making sure your mind's still at the same place, like you're trying to get ready for a game for me, it's just what I've been focusing on. What does the return team have to do to sell the fake like you guys were able to do? Oh, the punt, the punt team? Okay, for us, I mean, like going out there, I was yelling like to the not like loudly, but to the office, like, hey, you're coming right back out because like we're we're just confident. You know, like if we got something called out there, that we're gonna execute it. But for us, it's just you just treat it like a, a regular punt. You know, you don't want to like be antsy or anything. Just like because we practice it so many times, so just having confidence that you're gonna make a play. So I, that's pretty much just how we treat it. That you guys like as a as a unit have in your back pocket every week, or was that like specific that you felt like against Baltimore that was an opportunity? Uh, I think just for us, it's really like whatever Coach Ficken you know has installed for the week. We just want to be able to execute it to the best of our abilities. So it's pretty much how we treat it. Like if he wants to call, we have like 20 fakes that week. We're going to practice all 20 fakes. Did you uh, run any fake punts uh, in college, or when was the last one? That was probably my only fake pun ever. Like, you know, <laughs> like Pee Wee, middle school, everything. Can I, uh, maybe a silly question, but this sort of first step that you have, I mean, has that always been the quickness is there? I mean, has that always been a thing for you, or is there a way you develop it, or your parents fast? I feel like, yeah, where like, did that come from? I, I, I guarantee it's just God given, you know. I, I didn't wake up and started training to become fast, you know. Uh, I think it's funny, my mom could probably explain it way better than I do. But uh, she, she realized that, hey, your son might be good in sports. So we were at a, like a family picnic, and I was like running with like 12 year olds, and I was like six, and I was beating them. And then like my, uh, my auntie was telling my mom, like, your son, you know, you might need to put him in sports and all that. But uh, yeah, you know, he, it's just like, I just try to go out there, use my God-given abilities to the best that I can do. Hey, in terms of honing that, how much did your background as a sprinter help with that first step and just being able to get out fast? Yeah, I think definitely just your form, really, just your running form since you focus on it so much in track and field and all that. But um, for me, it's just, you know, like incorporating that into football, you know, working with patience and vision and all that type of stuff. So that's a completely different thing. What's it been like with your friends and family getting to kind of share this with you and seeing you not only get on the NFL field but do what you did? Oh, yeah, like that's the best part, you know, being able to share it with people that, you know, mean the most to you. So it's been awesome. Yeah, your NFL debut the week before, kind of get all excited yeah. thinking you're going to get one and then oh, you yeah. never got to return one. Definitely, like that was, ah, oh, man, like I really wanted to get one. But, you know, like that's what I was talking about, playing within the rules. Like I'm not going to back up seven yards just to catch a kick, you know. I don't want to put the people that are blocking for me in a disadvantage. So uh, how many texts do you get, phone calls, or what have you? Since oh, yeah. yeah, it was a lot. Like, I was debating, man, I need to get a second phone, but it was, it was a lot. <laughs> like how many? Probably like, like in the hundreds, dude. Yeah. Okay. And how'd you feel about being NFC Special Teams Player of the Week? I mean, like, how I felt, I was like, man, we got to give it to the whole, the whole unit. Like, it's literally 10 people blocking for one person to score. And, like, I, I don't even think I got touched. So it's a testament to that group. 
Can I know obviously the other running backs aren't returning kickoffs, but what is it like for that just to kind of see how much they support you and how excited they were for you? I know they were posting on social media and whatnot, and I'm mm -hmm. sure things that we don't see. Yeah, it's just like like whenever we make a big play anywhere, we're getting excited. Like when CJ caught that ball, like <laughs> we were all getting excited for each other. But no, it's just it's a brotherhood. I love that room. You know, they just took me under my um, their wing and like just been like guiding me through this entire process.